Thanks for coming to AnimalCon 2022. Could you introduce yourself and tell us who you're here with? Yeah, so my name is David Utrera. I'm from Tiki's Geckos. And we're here, you know, doing a couple panels, having a great time, meeting a lot of different influencers. We're having a good time. It's in the name Tiki's Geckos, but what do you do with your company? So we basically, we focus on a majority of different species of reptiles, lizards in particular. I started with mostly New Caledonian geckos, crested geckos, gargoyle geckos, lichianis, and we also have added a lot more variety to our, you know, to our animals. We have blue tongue skinks, um, pretty much any reptile that's out there we, we sell. While you get to work with all the animals, your particular focus is the New Caledonian geckos, right? Yeah, we do have our hands into like a lot of different species and genuses, but my like what i focus is what i'm mostly known for my lines are the gargoyle geckos the crested geckos and like those are like our two strongest you guys have the popular deadpool line right, could yeah. you describe what it was like when you produced that animal and how it's been since yeah so deadpool deadpool was actually produced by philip tremper um, and I got them secondhand off of a friend that was getting out, but I just never seen a gargoyle gecko that red at the time. So this was like 10 plus years ago. And when I, and to this day, he still has held his color very well. So I think that's what's really amazing about that line is how it holds its color. And just, he produces some insane red geckos, obviously. But um, yeah, it's been great. That, that line is one of my strongest lines with my gargoyles. And that's what I'm developing the, probably the most. And what would you say is your strongest with the crested geckos? With the cresteds, we got a couple. Um, we do a lot of really nice lily whites. I think that's like the, the future. We're also adding a lot newer newer lines with the new morphs coming out, like the cappuccino. And I, I just love like anything pinstripes, anything harlequins. Those are like my two favorite stuff. What got you into geckos to start? Well, I think like a lot of us, you know, the fascination of dinosaurs when we were kids. And, you know, you're growing up, you're fascinated by these animals, these animals, these uh, reptiles, and they're like the closest thing to dinosaurs, right? So when I was younger, I always wanted to keep reptiles and my mom would let me, you know, have one. Then you get two, then you get three, four, five, six, it grows, it snowballs, and then it turns into a business and it takes over your life. So that's, that's how that started. It sounds like it's living the dream though. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take it from Jay, um, <laughs> how he says living the dream. It really is because, you know, it like we were talking earlier in one of the panels like this is like a non-stop it's non-stop with animals but it doesn't feel like work because we love this stuff so we genuinely enjoy being with the animals taking care of them seeing the different colors and morphs that we could produce so it's it's living the dream and it doesn't even feel like we're working half the time yeah and you guys are despite being really big and really popular still a pretty small team right yeah yeah so w right now our team consists of uh one one, two, three, four, four people. There's obviously a lot of people that have helped me along the way, my family, other friends just supporting, but it's, you know, myself, uh, Manny, Daniela, my girlfriend, and my brother, Nico, right now. And we used to have another employee, um, but as of right now, it's us four. What advice would you give people trying to get into New Caledonian geckos? My advice is always go with what you like the best. A lot of people want to go with what's popular or what's selling the most. But I don't think there's always like ups and downs with every like more for every species really. So go with what you like the best because that's what's gonna keep you going in, in moments that you know it might get harder or it might be more challenging. You want an animal that you genuinely enjoy and you're gonna be able to like just that you would do it for free. This no, I don't think anybody that is a reptile breeder really got into it for the money because it's for the time you work to the money you make is probably not the best. But um, it's just like, we, were, we all started doing this as a hobby and eventually we started making it into a business. So start with what you love and the rest will take care of itself. Thank yeah, you. No problem, thank you guys.